Welcome back to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the voices inside your head. I'm Jonas. TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, and uh, we are playing uh, the sus susceptible detective, shape-shifting detective. Yeah. I did not remember the name of the game. Uh, we are currently the chief, as, as you yeah. can see in the lower left-hand corner. We're going to go talk to Bron, Lexi, and... Uh, well, I thought we were going to talk to Violet first. Oh, yeah, Violet. That's right. We should definitely talk to Who Violet. Who knows whether you've made the right decision or not, Claude. Ooh. How's Bronwyn been? Overly nice. She's covering her tracks well, if she has anything to hide. Okay. What was it I asked you to do again? You just told me to report back to you if I noticed anything suspicious. Good grief, Claude. You're a bit young to be losing your marbles already. That's the chick from the last game. I think so, yeah. What were you doing last night? <clears throat> I was with you. Don't ask that. Just leave? Yeah, I think I think that she's going to be with us. Or ask it. Whatever. I'll just leave. I'm fine with that. I don't, I don't really think she. Uh, we're going to find anything out from that. Should we try Bronwyn, Lexi, or uh, Rain? Uh, with with the chief? Do you no. Think? You don't let's think go, so? Let's Not for now. Let's go back to Sam and go see Violet. Okay, I agree with that. I think we should definitely talk to everybody as Sam at least one time. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> And then kind of like follow up with other people who they mention. Violet, I baby. I've been to see Chief Dupont already. Uh, did you know Dorota? Who are the other guests? Who are the other guests? What were you doing last night? Or Chief Dupont oh, said. Oh, Chief Dupont, you're taking pills. What for? Boom, right to it. Jeez. <laughs> I wow. Feel, I feel like it's. <sighs> let's, let's, let's. Oh, I no, I already pressed it. I think they're for anxiety. I'm a very anxious person. Oh, it's for schizophrenia, isn't it? I oh, should... Let's trash it. We know what it's for. Mm, I feel like we should press it. All right, press it. Dude. I want to press it. I don't know, Dr. Sam. You tell me. Wow. Oh, okay. That's it? Okay, it's fine. She didn't like it. All right, so uh, let's just ask her what Not we know really. about Not really. I'm sure she was a precious lamb, though. What do I do here? Do I just let her say precious lamb? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. Trash what, what... it? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what precious lamb means. Yes, a lamb. Yeah. Sacrificial? Innocent. Sacrificial? Lambs get slaughtered, though, don't they? What the hell, lady? <laughs> nice, yes. That's a good description. Actually, I thought she was a bit slutty, to be honest. Jesus. <laughs> Do I let that slide? Yeah, no, let's ask it. Dur okay, all right. Sorry. She was naked. I'm gossiping. Bed. I don't want to talk ill of the dead. Ask her boyfriend. <gasps> See? Where do I find her boyfriend? Yeah. Oscar! Lives at the vicarage next to the church. Don't tell him I sent you, though. I'm sure he's sick of seeing people already. Oh, that was helpful. Yeah, now we got another guy we can go talk to. What are the other guests? Or who are the other guests? I'm sorry. Who are They're the other guests? tarot readers. I'm thinking of asking them to leave, actually. She's the shifter, dude. Uh, don't ask them to leave. Yeah, don't ask them to leave. Or what do you... Why what, do you want them to leave or don't ask them to leave? Which one should I do? Uh, don't ask them to leave. Demands already? I'm only thinking of doing it. Well, I'm telling you not to. I'm the cop. All right. Uh, why, what were you doing last night? It's the strangest thing. I honestly don't remember. Oh, that's... Which I imagine I was here, or getting groceries somewhere. She is suspicious. Have you ever been at Dorota's house? Ooh. Yeah, let's ask it. Then we should get I've driven by it. And come back and talk Never to her and ask her where she was it. last night. All right, she says she's just driven by it. Okay, I'm just going to pose this 100% right off the top. I think we go Violet and go see 
the boyfriend because she was like she's a precious little lamb a lot of female animosity usually leads to jealousy i think this chick and dorota's boyfriend had a thing going All right, on let's do it yeah i like it i forgot we could even turn into her oh yeah a hundred percent and I, I i i almost want to i kind of want to go as sam first but i don't know no let's let's let's, let's uh, just do this yeah let's go to the room change turn, to violet okay. then we take the cab to uh to the church or the whatever that thing she Hello, said it was. I'm Violet. Go see Violet as Violet. I'm Violet. <laughs> you can't see Violet as Violet. They take her off the list. All right, I am going to turn into Violet, and we're going to go see the boyfriend though. All right, hail a cab, and we go to. Oh, uh, can we visit? Why can't we go see the? We can't go see the boyfriend. No, either the, it was either the chief or the guest house. So, what was the boyfriend's name? It was like. Oh yeah. All I right. Only well, have let's these. see. If, let's let's go back to Sam and see if we can turn into the guy first. Okay. Yeah. Maybe maybe it's gated. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. We like we have to go talk to uh, Sam first. All right. So leave. Give me the, the radio picture. Hail a cab. It's six o'clock, and you're listening to Radio August. Police investigating the murder of Dorota Shaw are appealing to the community to help catch her killer. The body of 21-year-old Miss Shaw, an accomplished cellist, was found in her home last night. Police are describing the murder as a violent and despicable act. A violent and despicable It's act. just terrible. Meanwhile, out of respect for the victim and her family, this weekend's Tulip Festival has been postponed. New dates will be announced shortly, so do stay tuned to Radio August for updates. I heard Dorota Shaw was due to play this weekend. At the Tulip oh, Festival. Okay. Indeed. I understand why they'd want to postpone it. Tonight the weather will be mostly dry and warm, but be on the lookout for dark clouds on the horizon, as there may be scattered showers. Nope. Best take an umbrella, Monroe. Don't read the weather it. after my obituary. I like getting wet. That's I'm 6 o'clock with Poe and Monroe. I'm sorry, excuse me? <laughs> She's like, I like getting wet. This game, this has like horny Anyone moment. Does. This like horny moment. Oh wait. Moment. Oh, we've 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 got to the point where we can go to the next chapter if we want to. Oh, I don't know. Wait, hold on. Is there on. any other people we want to talk to? Yeah, let me let me keep investigating. Me. Visit chief. Go to the guest. We gotta go back to the guest house. All right. Have I have I spoken to everybody? Well, you haven't talked as Violet to. Any, any, of, any of those people or the chief to anyone except for Violet either. Okay. And then we probably should go back as Sam to the chief and talk to him before we go to the next chapter too. Oh, to I can even turn into <laughs> any of these people and go and talk to the chief. There's a lot of like cross you can do. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, well, we're... Should, is Violet... I, well, I think Violet talking to any of, any of those people, I don't know if it'll be... I don't think that talk, any of these people talking to the chief is going to help either. Right. But Violet and the chief do have something. Maybe, so what would you say? Was tur turn into Violet, talk to the chief? Well, we had that opportunity before. Um, should we talk to, as the chief, come and talk to the, the witch hunters? <laughs> uh, or should we just, as Sam, go talk, talk to, the, to chief the chief and I, see what happens? Yeah, I think that I think that's a good idea. I like that one. Talk to the chief as Sam. He might ask us what we found out. Hail a cab. Uh, visit the chief. Okay. And then let's let's try this one right here. Rain says he was praying in his room, alone. Nobody corroborates. Bronwyn and Lexi say they were in the same room last night. Shame they can't agree which one. The tarot readers have mentioned a job. We don't know what. Violet says she doesn't remember last night, and you found out she's taking pills. Perhaps they're related. Oh, so he just That's it. he just recaps what we've already learned. Okay. But Oh, she is cute. But but he doesn't know the things that we've learned as the other people. Because uh, he only knows what we've learned as Sam. He doesn't know what we've learned as anyone else. That's true. So yeah, so really the only things we have left we can do, we can either talk as the chief to to the, the to the three. Yeah. Or, or Violet is the three. Or take anyone to the chief. 
I don't know if that's I don't. Yeah, be, I, don't. It, I think we did enough because it unlocked the second chapter. All right, so we'll just move on. We'll move on. That's fine. Okay, I, I agree. I it's do six like o'clock the and fact you're that listening to radio interactions there. Police that we investigating could explore. the murder yeah. of Dorota Shaw are appealing to the community to help catch her killer. The body of 21-year-old Miss Shaw, an accomplished again. cellist, was found in her home last night. Police are describing the murder as a violent yeah, yeah. and despicable same, act. Uh, Monroe. I like being wet. It's Every just terrible. Time. Meanwhile, out of respect for the victim oh, and her like, family, this, was this weekend's the chapter, Tulip we Festival has like been postponed. Chapter, New dates will be announced shortly, so do stay tuned to Radio August for updates. I heard Dorota Shaw was due to play this weekend. Yeah, she At the was Tulip gonna Festival. Play. I really like Indeed. I understand why they'd want to postpone it. Tonight the weather oh, will be like mostly dry and warm, but be on the lookout for dark well, clouds on the horizon, as now. there may be scattered showers. Let's take an umbrella, Monroe, That's what so you I don't get do. wet. So bad. I like getting wet. He'll, be, he'll show up. That's six o'clock with Poe and Monroe. Like, dun dun dun. Yeah. yeah I think know. somebody's a shapeshifter, dude. Keep investigating. Or next chapter. Oh yeah. Okay. So yeah, we go to the next chapter. All right, so visit Oscar. There it is. All right, so let's go to the guest house. Yeah. All right, and we're gonna turn into uh, Violet. Yeah, turn okay. into Violet Your and go see. Your ability is endless. It will run out at some point. Oh. So they're telling me not to do a bunch of pointless ones. I get it. It just said my ability is an endless. Okay. <clears throat> so I don't want to go do those I'm pointless violent. ones that we didn't do. Right, right, so. right. Yeah, I'm exactly. Okay. All right. So let's get out of here. Okay. Eventually we'll just be stuck as someone else. Hail a cab. Visit Is it Oscar? Oscar. Oh, it's going to happen. <gasps> Oscar is Violet. Okay. Well, that didn't do anything. Dang it, Jonas. Well, while we're well while we're Violet. Yeah. Let's. I mean, let's uh, let's talk to somebody. Let's go to the chief or something. I guess. <laughs> right. I mean, we already. You know what I mean? I think just switching back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. Violet. Okay, well, let's at least talk to one of those one of those people okay, or something. This is the guest house. We might as well do. Let's go talk to Bronny. Or oh yeah, let's talk to Bronny. LeBron win. Why does every so being Violet is pointless? Yeah, everyone has just stared at us. I I was I was thinking that there was something there, but there was nothing there. All right, I mean, let's go. Oh, let's go talk to Rain. Yeah. You're not even going to hit on me? I changed your sheets last night, and you aren't here. Oh, nice. Okay. That's impossible. I was in that room praying the entire time, and those sheets have definitely not been changed, I can assure you. Are you trying to frame me? <laughs> All right. I guess let's talk to Lexi while we... Yeah, we, while we're still... This since since well. there's been... Oh, she's not in her room. So Oscar wasn't home, and Lexi wasn't in her room. Okay. So now we got to change back to Sam. Okay. Okay. And now and we then, go visit Oscar, I guess? Yeah, I guess we'll try. I also think it might be a good idea to be the chief and go visit Oscar, too. Just to, like, let him know the pressure's on. Yeah, that's true. Who are you? I'm a shit. <laughs> I'm guessing we don't say that. Wow. One. I'm Sam. He's finicking. He's pinching his. Uh... Yeah, dude. Uh, I'm Sam, and I'm here to investigate a murder. Right, because the local police are so rubbish. It's been a day, a whole day. It's typical of them. It's been a day? Did you see Dorotha yesterday? How long were you dating? Or what can you tell me about her parents? What was... does that happen? Yeah, yeah, I went no, around right. there in the afternoon. Uh, her parents were at work, and we were, you know, hanging out. I left at about five. 
Uh, where were you at 9 p.m. last night? Playing football. It's just five aside. Uh, finished at about half nine. I called her, but she never picked up. Okay, so he was playing football. Which I soccer. guarantee you he means soccer. You can tell by his scuffed shoes. Why is one of his shoes scuffed? Hmm. How long were you one's dating? One's in focus and one's out of focus, though. That, that may be. Not long. A couple of months, maybe. We did care for each other. By care, I mean... She didn't mind I had a unibrow. Yeah, who do us to do this? Is she seeing anyone else? Ooh. Which one? Uh, yeah, let's see if she was seeing anybody else. No. Why? Uh, maybe because you have a unibrow. She was killed in your bed. <laughs> <laughs> Violet at the guest house called her slutty. Oh, it's. The yeah, should I? Violet Gallagher. What's it got to do with her? Bitch. Mind you, it's not exactly damning coming from someone as frigid as her. Frigid. Oh. Fr Why he frigid? Tried to, he tried to get it, and she said no, dude. Why frigid? She's all prim and proper with it. Oh, sorry, it's just... Why do people say things like that? You're not supposed to speak ill of the dead. All right, so what can you tell me about Dorothy's parents... Is it possible the killer was hiding in her room? What, you mean watching us? That's disturbing. No, no, it couldn't have been. The only place he could have hidden would be in the closet, and I suppose someone could have hidden in the closet. Must be a big closet. Have you hidden there before? <laughs> Should I ask it? Yeah. Not hidden. Well... She liked it. Liked me to watch. Like me to... Not, not other guys. Just... She had these... You know... Voyeur fantasies. Describe the fantasies or trash it. <laughs> Which one? I want to hear what... Oh well, yeah, let's hear it. She'd ask me to hide in the upstairs closet. And then she'd walk in and strip off. Start touching herself. She got upset if I came out before she'd finished. She makes oh. him stand Sorry, in the is closet. Sorry, this with the investigation? And watching her whole masturbation session? Wow. What can you tell me about... The, wait, is that a wedding? No, it's not a wedding ring. What was in the closet? Or what about her parents? Uh, I say what's in the closet. Yeah, 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 I'm good. I, I kind of want to keep... like Clothes, manly. Want them to describe it. something that freaked me out a bit. She had a wedding dress in there. She knew okay. I'd seen it, but we never talked about it. Not even as a joke. Why would you talk about it as a joke? Exactly. If she has a wedding dress. Exactly. Should I ask about the parents at all, you think? Yeah, I mean, am I, am I, am I, sometimes the ones that they give us a... Yeah. Not they, much. They always seemed happy to see me. I don't think they meant it. They wanted Dorota to focus on her music. Yeah, so nothing. But sometimes, you're absolutely right. Yeah, sometimes right. it'd be like, oh, yeah. All right, so we're out of here. Um, I I seriously want to try Violet again after we, but I, I'm not going to. I don't know what else we can do right now, though. Well, now we can go talk to them again as Sam. <clears throat> Let's go back and talk to Bronwyn and them again because we're in the next chapter, so they probably have new stuff to tell us. I don't know if these people are going to have anything interesting. All right, did you know her boyfriend? Lexi says she was in her room last night, not yours. Oh, this is some stuff we need to get into. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, she gets easily confused. Youth of today. That's how... That's how you... That's how you brush it off. Should I say tell me the truth? Yeah, let's say tell the truth because... because Fine. Uh, Jeev Tupon was breathing down her neck, so we thought it would be simpler. If we stuck together, if these walls weren't separating our rooms, then technically it'd be true. Then why'd you say you were by yourself? Why did you lie? Yeah, exactly. To protect Lexi. None of this is her fault and she gets anxious easily. I was just trying to take the pressure off. I'm, I'm sorry, Sam. I, I never usually lie. <laughs> Says the liar. What about Rain? What or are what? you doing in your room? Which one? 
Uh, you pick. I was logged into Tarotasm. It's a phone reading service and I get paid by the minute. Which, now that I'm saying it, it's not something I really should be bragging about. You get paid by the minute to do tarot? I would... Shoot, you make a lot of money. Yeah, right? Should, I guess I should just ask it. I'm here. Yes. He came to see me. He wanted to know that she was okay. Spiritually speaking. Huh. Did he tell you anything about Dorota? Or you contacted Dorota Spirit? Or can't... Wait a minute. You Oh, he yeah, okay. So Hmm, did he tell you, you anything? Contacted about? Dorota Spirit. Yeah, do that one, dude. No. I wouldn't know how. I'm a tarot reader, not a medium. Maybe I should have pretended though. Made up some fake message from her to give him some comfort. Aw. Why didn't you make up a fake message? No, oh, come on. We already know. Ugh, yeah, trash it. <laughs> I don't actually believe in the spirit world. Well, not as you know it, anyway. That's interesting. Thank you yeah. for that. Yeah. Real, real interesting. All right, uh, let's talk to Lexi again. Hi, Sam. Back from she's already. a big, dirty liar. She's all excited to see us. Did you know Dorota's boyfriend? Why did you lie about your alibi? Tell me about the traveler. Oh. <gasps> Oh. All right, let's say <laughs> let's say an alibi first. How did you find out? Am I in trouble? Yes, it's obstruction of justice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get her going. It was only a little white lie, nothing else. It wasn't even that much of a lie. We're both here in the guest house. We just happen to be in different rooms. Got it. Got my proof. If I had proof, why wouldn't I make this all up? I'm sorry, Sam. I really am. I know how this must look, but I couldn't kill anything. Honest. All right. I want to know about this Traveler. Yep. Traveler? That's a really old role-playing game, isn't it? Bluff. Rain. Oh, we already know. Yeah. 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 Oh, did he now? Well, then, you know what I know. I guess you must be a part of our inner circle. How does it feel? Feels good. <laughs> I don't know. This is like a 50 50 right here. What do we do? Let's trash it. Trash it or feels good? Trash it? All right, I say trash yeah, it. Yeah, let's trash it. Oh, no. I don't know. All right, did you know the boyfriend? No, I think Bromin met him, though. What for? You'd have to ask her or him. It's not my place to say. She her so whole we demeanor can take changed. Bronwyn yeah. To the boyfriend. That's a, that's a good point. We could do that. Well, let's talk to. Let's finish up Rain first. All right. Uh, we got Rain Sam. and we got Lexi. What can I do for oh. you? Or Violet? Yeah, Violet. I meant. Uh. How, How did, did you, you get, get Dorota's name from the tarot? From the tarot? Lexi mentioned you were, were here, here to, to do, do a job. job. You were here. Were you, where were you before August? Oh, because we can catch them lying because we know they're in Birmingham. But we we also kind of we some of that stuff we don't really need to ask because we know. But yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's say with the job. <sighs> I already know these people are. We're trying to save people. It's not working. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I said we're trying. We Aww. have a gift. We have Mercury, the tarot. It tells us where bad things are going to happen, and we try and stop them. I mean, they did try. Yeah. All right, how did you... Uh, I, I just want to... Let's see if this is true. Birmingham. Okay. We couldn't save anyone there either. Okay. The problem with travelers is... Let's put a pin in this one, Sam. That's funny. He said traveler. Birmingham travelers? Let me ask Bronwyn. 
if she says it's okay to talk about it, it's okay to talk about it. Huh. All right. Well, he brought it up, so I'm not lying necessarily then, to Lexi. Uh, we should be him and go talk to <laughs> Uh Let's just see how he got the name. We I'm didn't. Here. Lexi used a Ouija board to get the name. Okay. A Ouija board. The tarot... Which one? Who cares? Yeah, pick one. I don't care. Uh, Ouija board? Uh, nope. It kind of did. It's hard getting an exact name out of 78 cards. But considering we'd never heard of Dorota Shore, it painted a pretty good picture otherwise. Couldn't use the Ouija board on its own? Couldn't you use the Ouija oh, board? Oh, could you use the Ouija board? On no. No. Lexi needs to give it context from the tarot reading. A lot of the time it comes up with nothing. Or a sordid comment directed at Lexi. <laughs> I think that's why she keeps using it, to be honest. <laughs> uh, Tell me more about the Ouija board. Sure. Once we thought there was going to be a murder, Lexi used the Ouija board to find out the victim's name. It spelled out the rotor. How does it work? Just... This is going to sound weird. Um, most people my... believe Ouija boards contact the dead. So if Lexi contacts a dead person, that person needs to know what happens in the future. Ergo, maybe the person she's contacting is from the future. A time traveler who died here. Oh. Time travel is real? Oh, yeah. Let's, yeah, let's, let's go down this. Yes. Well, not just time travel, That's time and space travel. travel is also possible. Yeah. If we accept the fact there are multiple realities, we must also accept there are others like us who found a way to travel between these realities. Uh, wow. see, so he, we already found out stuff. Yeah, we? we know some things. All right, join us on the next one, though. All right, Crazy Towns folk. That's all the time we got for this one. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done that yet. But I'm Jonas. TNT! Catch you on the next one. We uh, are out. Uh...